Hello, good evening to everyone. So I'm here to discuss about moment, okay? So moment, I'll define it later and I'll solve some examples, okay? So this will be the topic on our upcoming quiz. Uh, this coming uh, Friday, I think Friday, yes, for both sections in architecture. Okay, so I'll be showing you the figure definition, I'll be solving the problems. Okay, now remember, a moment is the turning force around a fixed pivot, okay? Now, it's like torque. Okay, but torque has a sign which is negative or positive. The value it's either going clockwise or counterclockwise. So meaning, let's say going back to the door, if you have two forces here, okay, let's say this is equal to 100 newtons, this one is equal to 200 newtons. Okay, so you would multiply the distances, then you get the torque. And which direction does it go? Does it go here counterclockwise or does it go? Clockwise. Okay. Now the difference with moment. Now the same, the same ang sign. Okay. So signs going clockwise are negative and going counterclockwise are positive. The only difference is when we talk about momentum, there is no motion. Okay. So in this case, let's say for example this problem. So the question is, what is the force here? We're going to solve the force for this system to be in equilibrium. So ibig sabihin, hindi gagalaw. Unlike yung torque, meron siyang twisting motion. So yun ang makukuha natin. Okay? But in this case, you're going to look for the force or the distance of the given force for the system to be in equilibrium. So dapat hindi siya gumagalaw. Okay? It's a statics, di ba? Rigid body style. So rigid body meaning dapat hindi siya gumagalaw. Okay? So this is moment. So the difference is, in momentum, is may gumagalaw siya. Okay, it's either clockwise or counterclockwise. In this case, what's the force to maintain an equilibrium system? Okay, so we could solve for the distance or the force. Okay, so that's the difference of moment and torque. Okay, the illustrations are quite small, but you could enlarge them. Okay, so uh, let's start. Okay, given. Hopefully, you can read the values. The first is a fulcrum, okay, 20 newtons going in this direction, going down. And another is a distance of 1 meter. We're looking for the force. So, ano yung force mo dito that should be here to for this to be in equilibrium, okay? So, 20 newtons here at 0.6 meters. And then at 1 meter from the center, okay, of the 5 watt, is another force. Now, anong value dapat ng force mo dito for this system to be in equilibrium? Okay, that's the one we're going to solve. Okay, so first, ano ba motion nito? So meaning dapat when you add the forces, they should be equal to zero. Okay, so let's say this one is going in this direction. So this is counterclockwise. Okay, so this is positive. So you have 20 newtons, okay, multiplied by 0 0.6 meters. Okay, well, maybe I'll just remove the units. Okay, uh, our final answer should be in newton meter. Okay, so I'll just remove the units. So it's twenty multiplied by zero point six. Okay, and then your force here is going in this direction, so it is clockwise. It is negative. Okay, so plus negative or just negative or minus your force multiplied by one meter. Okay, so this should be equal to zero. So all forces should be equal to zero for it to be in equilibrium. Okay, so let us multiply. I'll just use my calculator. So we have 20 multiplied by 0.6. Okay, and so we have 12. Okay, this is 12. Okay, minus F. This is 1 minus F. That is still F. Okay, it's equal to zero. So your force here now is equal to, we transpose 12, so this is negative F and negative 12, or your force is equal to 12 newtons. Okay. So you need 12 newtons okay, as a value for this force at a distance of 1 meter for this system to be in equilibrium. Ibig sabihin, 20 newtons mo dito is 0.6 meters distance niya, and then here your force is 1 meter distance. So pag pareho silang tumulak, okay, 20 meters, so itong isa is 12 newtons siya, so, hindi gagalaw yan. It's in equilibrium. Okay? So, you should, you should add the forces. Dapat ang mga forces mo should be equal to zero. So, I repeat, in this case, 20 multiplied by 0 0.6 is positive since going counterclockwise. And then here, it is going clockwise. I think you, you remember this from our discussion on torque. Okay? So, here, it's going clockwise. So, it is negative. Or another solution is... All values going counterclockwise, you could place them in the left side of the equation, and all values going clockwise, you put them in the 
left side of the equation. So right side of the equation. In, in, in your case, that's your right side of the equation. Okay? So para hindi na tayo magkakaroon ng transposition, natulad nito. So tagal natin yung zero, mag-move lang tayo. Uh, what do I mean? Okay, parang ganito. So alam ng clockwise, left side, alam ng counter, sorry, all counterclockwise is a left side, and then clockwise uh, right side. Okay? So in this case, 20 newtons multiplied by 0.6 is equal to, so yung kabila naman, counter, uh, counterclockwise direction, sorry, force multiplied by 1. Okay. So this is equal to, that is 12. Okay. 12 newtons equal to F. So meron pa ng value. 12 newtons is equal to your force. So that's source number 1. So this is equal to 12 newtons. Okay. So I repeat, to make it easier, para wala naman siya transposition, all forces going counterclockwise, positive yun, sa left sila. Okay? And then all forces going clockwise, kasi negative sila rito, lilipat mo, doon may positive siya. So, pwede mo na kagad doon. So, positive na siya. Okay? So, let's try it with the example. B. Example B. Okay, so let's try example number 2. So, all forces going counterclockwise, lagay natin sa left. And all forces going clockwise, lagay natin sa right. Okay? So, let's start with 120 newtons. So, 120 multiply the distance of, of a distance of here, is here, 5 watt. So, 5 and 5, that is 10. Okay. Plus, this is 60 newtons multiplied by 5, distance of 5. Okay. It's equal to your force. Okay. This is going clockwise, this two. Okay. So, your force multiplied by 2. Plus 100 multiplied by, so the distance of 2 and 8, so it is 10, distance of 10, okay? So we multiply, this is 1,200, so that's correct, okay? Then plus, so what is 6 times 5, that is 30 plus 0, so that is 300, okay? Is equal to 2F plus 1,000, okay? So, this is equal to 1,500, okay? Transpose minus 1,000 is equal to 2F, okay? So, this is equal to 1,5, uh, am I right? Yes. 1,500, uh, sorry, 500, 1,500. 500 divided by 2 is equal to your force. Therefore, your force, uh, changing their position sa lang muna, so that the variable will be the left side is equal to 250 newtons. So, you need 250 newtons here at a distance of 2 meters for this system to be in equilibrium. Okay, I repeat. Left side of the equation, all those going counterclockwise. Okay, so meaning that is this 2. Okay, so 120 multiplied by 10 since 5 and 5 on distance niya, so that is 10. And then another force is 60 newtons multiplied by 5. The distance, okay? Then your force here, these two naman are going clockwise. So your force here is negative. So we put them in the right side of the equation. Okay, so force multiplied by the distance of 2. And then your 100 is 8 and then 2 here. So you have 10. Then we just multiply. We get 1, 5. Okay, is equal to 2F minus 1,000. But we transpose 1,000. So it became negative. So that is 500 divided by 2 here. So 2F. So we get... 250 newtons. Now, you could check your answer if you would place 250 here, if it will be equal to zero. Okay, uh, let's try that. Okay, let's try that. So, your F now is 250 newtons. Okay, so it should be equal to zero. The forces here and the forces at this side should be equal to zero when with their uh, algebraic sum should be equal to zero. Okay, so uh, this is equal to 1, 5. Okay, we solved it. Okay, so now your force is 250. So, 250 multiplied by 2 and then plus 100 times 10, that is 1,000, okay? So, this is 1, 5 newtons is equal to this 500 plus 1,000, so that is 1,500. So, equal. The force here, forces here and the forces there going clockwise and going counterclockwise, they are equal, okay? So, the force for the moment is equal to 250 newtons, okay? So, let's try problem C, okay? So, your F here is going down. It is going at the counterclockwise direction. So, it is in the left side of the equation. That is your force multiplied by distance of 3 meters, okay? It's equal to, so going to the, to the, oh wait. 
Now, 80 here, 80 here is going upwards, not going downwards. Okay, so 80 here will have a motion going in this direction. So 8 here is still moving at a counterclockwise direction. So therefore, it is and still at the right side, left side of the equation. Sorry. So uh, take a look now. So your force here is moving here counterclockwise, and so is your 80 newtons. So pareho sila. Okay. So force multiplied by 3. And then plus 80 multiplied by 2. Okay. Is equal to, okay, these two now are going at a clockwise direction. Okay. So 60 newtons multiplied by a distance of, so this is your pi watt. So this is 2 and then 2. So it has a distance of 4. And then plus your 90 multiplied by, okay, this is 2, 2, and 2. So you have 6, 6 meters. Okay, so I think that's it. Okay, so we compute. This is 3F plus this is 160 is equal to 60 times 4, 24 plus 0, that's 240 newtons. Okay, and then plus uh, 36 or 360. Okay, so just to be sure. Okay, it's 5, 40. Okay, so 540 plus 240, so we have 780, okay? And then this is 3F plus 160, okay? Transposing 160, we have 3F is equal to 780 minus 160, okay? So your 3F now is equal to, this is 620, hopefully I'm right here. Okay, so 620. Okay, okay. So your F now is equal to 620. Hopefully, you can still see it. Okay, 620 all over 3. Okay, so I'll just place it here. Your F now is equal to, so this is 2, then 2, so this is 0, okay, that's 7. So it is 207. Uh, wait, just to be sure, let's calculate to be sure. Okay, so 620 divided by 3. Okay, it is 206 point, yes, rounding it off. Okay, so it is 206.67. So we need the force of 206.67 for this value here, for this force, for the system to be in equilibrium. Okay, so like before, like we did here, pwede mo may check yung answer niyo kung tama siya, kung tama ba na 106 siya. Okay, now, you could round it off to 107, but for us, we could, we are using, okay, uh, our answer should be until the second decimal place. But this is 0.6666, okay, so it is 0.67. Okay, so fully understood this third problem. Okay, we go to the last problem. Okay, now, so does it mean that it's a perfect or it's a, it's a horizontal or vertical? Pwede din siyang ganito. You need the system to be like this. Okay, so kailangan ganito yung may angle siya na kailangan mong i-produce, okay, to maintain that angle, okay? So in this case, there's 100 newtons here, okay, force and... Uh, a force of 100 newtons then another force you're going down okay so we're looking for this force to maintain this structure okay so hindi kailangan na pantay siya kailangan mong maintain ito so your force here if it's greater than what is needed bababa yan if it is lesser than what is needed tataas yan kasi 1000 to so kung kulang ang force mo dito your force lesser than needed papanik yan na ganun okay if it is greater than needed bababa siya na ganun you cannot maintain this structure na gusto mo okay now, the distance of 1,000 newtons from the pi watt is 0 0.5 meters. And the distance of the force from the pi watt is 3.0 meters. Okay. Now, remember, our, our moment is the perpendicular distance. Okay. So, we are going to use 0, uh, 0 0.5 and 3 meters. So, we're not going to use 0 0.5 and 3 meters. We're going to use their perpendicular distance from the pi volt. Okay? So if ever, walang given a value nito, you could solve it if there's a given angle. I think you know that now before back in forces. Okay? So in this case, 
This force is going, wait, it's going down, okay. This force is going counterclockwise, so it is positive, 1,000 newtons multiplied by, remember, do not use 0 0.5 meters. So it is the distance or the length here, here. Our perpendicular distance from the pivot is 0 0.3 meters. So we're going to use 0 0.3, okay, is equal to this going at a clockwise direction, okay, so it's right side shot. So it is force multiplied by the perpendicular distance of 1.8 meters. Okay, so that's it. So what is 1,000 multiplied by 0.3? And is equal to 300. Okay, then equal to 1.8 F. Okay, so your F now, I'll just uh, interchange them okay, for, for the variable to be in the left side. Okay? So F is equal to 300 divided by 1.8. Okay? So what is that? So 300 divided by 1.8. Equals, that is 166.67 newtons. Okay, this is your force in newtons. Okay, so I think these three examples uh, should be sufficient for you to understand the topic on moments. Okay, so remember, in moments, we're going, we are trying to maintain the equilibrium state of the system. Well, okay, I think that's it. Hopefully, you understood the discussion. If not, you could watch the video again, okay? So, problems are more or less like this, okay, in moments. Uh, some are looking for distances, but that's no problem. You just uh, write the value of the force, and then you multiply it with an x, okay? The distance is missing, okay? So, I think I think the, the presentation is clear, okay? So, I'll see you this week, okay, for our quiz in moments. Yeah. I think that's all, and good evening to everyone.